Hello to all of my Cancers and happy Midweek Wednesday. Cancer, we are headed towards, we're closer and closer to this super full moon in Aries on the 29th. Yes, on the 29th, right? Currently the moon is in Pisces. So I'm gonna give you some questions for the moon in Pisces. I will try to drop the questions below, but just in case I don't, I don't get a chance to, I'm gonna tell you what the questions are, all right? Okay, nice. Talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cancers, let's go. See what your cards have to say. All right. The energy has already been cleared. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart. Even if you're on the cusp of Gemini or Leo, I am talking to you. Even if cancer is your MC or IC, I am talking to you if you don't know what that means. I have all that information on my second channel. It's called the Knowledge Channel. The link is below. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the King of Wands. King of Wands. Somebody has King of Ideas. Here we have High, high Priestess Energy. We also have the Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. We also have the Princess of Wands. I mean, sorry, Princess of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. And then we also have the Ace of Swords. All right, all right, all right. Somebody's about to have a breakthrough in a lot of ways, about to have a breakthrough in a lot of ways. So, okay. So we have quite a few planets that are retrograde right now, right? Mercury is post-shadow retrograde. So it just feels like you, you're feeling the effect. Still slow down because Mercury is the messenger planet. And so you want to make sure you don't miss those messages that source is sending traveling to you, however they're traveling to you. So a lot of messages will be traveling to you because right now, when you think about uh, new moon, first quarter moon, full moon, and uh, last quarter moon, three days in, three days out is when you start to feel the effects of those moon phases, right? So we have eight major moon phases, but those four, you feel th like three days in, three days out, all of them actually, but since we focus on those, you know, in, in particular, Source wants you to, there's something that's going to try to call you back into the wilderness where you know that there's no growth whatsoever. Something will try to call you back into something. And Source is saying to you, it's better for you to ask, ask for an exodus strategy than for you to just go back into something that Source has already delivered you out of, delivered you from, right? So moving forward, you're looking at this is uh this is attached to um the moon, which is your ruling luminary. Since the moon obviously is not a planet, it's illuminated by the sun, but source is saying to you moving forward, you're gonna start listening to how you feel, like how your what is your body telling you? Are you in spaces where you feel like you're scared, you're nervous, you're happy, you feel nurtured, protected, and secure in certain places? Like where do you feel best or you feel good about by your definition of feeling good. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So it feels good now to be on the other side of a storm for somebody. Don't put yourself back into those situations. This is the learning lesson time, right? And so the beautiful thing about us feeling the effects of a full moon already and specifically a moon in, right now the moon is in Pisces, you remember what felt overwhelming for you and what didn't feel overwhelming for you. That's why you never want to just sit in that toxicity for years because you start to feel like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm building up my, I'm building up my immune system to certain things. On one hand, that may seem like it's a good thing uh, when you're talking about colds and the flu or whatever, but sort or, or for somebody, I don't know, but you don't want to be immune to your own pain. Like what, what, like, so you get to a point where you can't even uh, sit down and you can't even enjoy yourself anywhere because you're so hurt. You're all, you automatically think a person is giving you a compliment. They're being shady or a person is um, being nice to you that they want something from you, except besides thank you in return. Sources say, You've learned, you've, you've already come through that. You've already come through that storm. You've already been burned out enough, enough of that. It's you're, you're too smart. This right here connects us to, <clears throat> excuse me, the element of air, but also connects us to the heart chakra, right? So no more head and heart at war with things. Start paying attention to what a person says and if it's in line with what they're doing. 
Okay, not that my head and heart are at war with each other. I still got to over nurture, you know, certain things that's still hurting me. No, no more of that. You're on the outside of a long and arduous journey. And that's where the breakthrough is going to come in is I don't have to over nurture that. Somebody should have learned from their own family that <clears throat> while your heart chakra was being developed, that it is possible for you to love people, stay connected to people that you love that's hurting you. Like it feels like a sword cut and it's hurting you. So you'll be darned if you're going to go through that outside of your blood relative when you've already been through it in your past life. So somebody's saying, no, I'm not going back to all of that hurt, pain, the snide comments, the, the cut, the words that cut like a sword. I got to take years to heal from somebody saying certain things, being mean spirited to me, you know, running smear campaigns in my own family. I'll be darned if I'm going to go through all of that outside of my blood relatives, already been through it, been there, done that and got the got the slashes on my t-shirt to prove it so that's what i'm seeing somebody can we have a tower card here with a tower moment <clears throat> excuse me tower moment we have the four of wands the five of swords the three of wands the seven of pentacles and also the three of pentacles there's some loved ones who are having a tower moment because they're realizing that you're moving on and you're never coming back loved ones loved ones could be blood relatives or not but there's some people who feel like you're moving forward and you're not looking back and guess what you feel like a huge weight has been lifted. So there you go. Celebration, celebration, celebration for you. You're not going back through storms with them anymore. You're not going back through confusion. You're not holding anybody's hand, waiting for them to come out of their storm. You are making a beeline for your next life. That's what I'm seeing for somebody away from that. This is right here. Expansion. Somebody is operating in faith, moving forward, like literally taking a leap in a leap of faith into your own future, like taking a quantum leap into your own future. Here we have the three of pentacles. Everything is perfectly lining up for you in terms of it's like there's a perfect melody for somebody. <clears throat> Right. When you look back at the past and you see how people were able to manipulate you with their words and their actions and those kind of things, they, um, you know, playing, playing chess, they thinking they're playing chess, playing themselves, but they actually played themselves. And source is saying to you, you've moved on from all of that. You have completely moved on from that. So sources said, you know, get your rest. It's harvest time. It's time for you to continue planting seeds of wisdom and discernment. It's time for you to plant seeds of knowledge, cancers. And again, I'm talking to my cross watchers who also have cancer in their birth chart as well. It's time for you to start planting seeds of things that you can take with you anywhere in the world. Right. In case people haven't noticed, not everyone's currency is going to be accepted all over the world. Right. So what are some of the things that you can take with you all over the world? Right. Even though the you are the money and the mother sign of the Zodiac. But what what frequency you're on? Remember, we've been talking. If you've been tuned into my channel for a while, you've heard me say this. The energy of money is connected to our relationships with human beings. So what can you take with you everywhere and <clears throat> like knowledge, wisdom, discernment, that is a peace of mind. You can bring peace into situations where people don't feel like their feathers are ruffled around you. They're not nervous around you because you're not bringing that toxicity in your water into spaces. So source is saying it's harvest time for you. And this full moon, the super full moon is a harvest moon, harvest, corn slash harvest moon. So what seeds have you planted that you're now reaping the benefits from? You're looking forward to reaping the benefits from those seeds. What seeds have you planted, right? So lots of lots of gifts you're taking with you wherever you're going into this next job, next romantic relationship, next friendship, next whatever, next season of your life. And if you live in an area where there's four seasons, you'll start to notice as we move from, you can learn, we can learn a lot from nature. When we're moving from one phase of our lives to the next or from one season of our lives to the next, what usually happens? Rain, rainfall, something having to do with water, whether it's a big snow that's melting into water, whether it's a, a stormy, you know, rainstorm or gentle showers or whatever it is. Like, uh, what is it called? Um, the gentle showers. Um, like, uh, anyway, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, just light rainfall, right? So, anyway, so that's what I'm seeing here. So, so what I'm seeing in your car is that it won't be d difficult for you all to move on from the past. Because when you all you had to do is just remember. Like how some people try to play you like a fiddle and then turn around and try to gaslight you or try to play these manipulative games and that kind of stuff. So, source is saying you're moving on from all of that. 
whether it's in your workplace or your personal life. But there's definitely some energies that are, um, there's definitely some energies that are having a tower moment. You're divinely protected. Some karma is happening. And some people, they, go, they will have time to remember exactly what you've tried to tell them. But they didn't want to listen. They did not want to listen. Here we have the justice card. You are a justice for your own peace of mind justice in your favor and it has been in your favor from source if it's court situation but i'm saying justice in your favor but source is also saying but it's more of like you're a justice for your peace of mind so when you think about sword energy right here and all the cut all the cut words all the words that cut deep all the actions that cut deep cancer it won't be you you will drop those two swords right there you're like you know what i'm moving on i'm i'm because again here we have the five of swords coming out twice i'm leaving behind a lot of a lot of uh, spirits that have cut me like a deep sword, but uh, also accusing you of doing the same thing. Like instead of them apologizing and saying, you know, taking accountability for what they did for you, it's more like they justify why they hurt you. You're leaving all of that behind, all of it. Here we have the temperance card. And so you definitely have a guardian angel, somebody who is... Um, somebody who is really there's some people who are really regretting how they treated you i mean like really regretting how they treated you and when i say money really doesn't hold up not my paper and coins paper it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with it because they've talked negatively about you told it told people all kinds of oh we're uh you know they're moody they're sex super sensitive you know they are clingy those kind of energies but people are starting to find out you are the complete opposite of what rumors certain people spread and now they're having a tower moment like literally if they could take their foot off and insert it in their bottom they would like i could kick myself that i said all those things but guess what their pride the more prideful they are the harder they're gonna fall so the more they talk negatively about you, the more other areas of their lives are going to start coming, going to shambles. That could start with nightmares. It can start with um, the, the immune system breaking down because they're getting sick. They can't figure out why. They're blaming it on some food they ate. They're blaming it on the weather. All kinds of stuff is happening around them. But for you, you feel like I'm closing out a cycle in love. I feel, I feel liberated. I feel free. I feel like a changed person. I'm doing something that I, I haven't done before. Like I'm, I'm actually moving on from something and I don't feel bad about it at all. Here we have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. Like I said before, Mercury is um, post shadow retrograde. Uh, and so someone is still slowing down and, and making things make sense. Your anxiety about a situation is going away every single day. Every time you take some kind of action to move up, physically take action to move away from pain. Like, let me give somebody an example. Let's say, for instance, you're not, you, you put your money in, you've been banking with a particular bank for years, but you haven't gotten good customer service face to face over the phone. It's just been a shambles. And on top of that, the rate isn't as high as this particular bank over here, right? Even though you may be a very loyal person and say, well, I've been with this bank for 15 years. This one over here is looking a little bit more appealing. So while you're phasing this one out, you're starting to pay attention. How do they treat their customers? I'm just calling randomly. What kind of customer service am I getting? I'm just walking into the bank, the bank, the branch every now and then and just see how I'm being attended to. Those kind of things. And okay, well, maybe I'll start with a small deposit and see how, what kind of return I get on that. Then I start putting a little bit more, then a little bit more, then a little bit more. And you're starting to see, guess what? I'm still getting that same kind of service, the same from the old bank, you know, uh, poor communication skills. This isn't happening. That's how, so hmm, moving forward is a little bit more appealing to me. And then going backwards. So I know I'm making the right decision because every time you speak into like you, every day you're making some move towards whatever you said you wanted to manifest. That's why the anxiety about something is going away. And that's why in the past, before you knew what your purpose was, it was so you kept going back to situations. You kept going back to bad romantic relationships, friendships, jobs, feeling guilty. Did I make a, a, you know, it's like a person who was on a seesaw. I'm not really sure which direction I should go in, like a tug of war inside of yourself, but it's no more tug of war. You're a warrior for your own peace, right? So here we have the four cups. 
And so I don't see somebody lamenting over something anymore. I see somebody literally, you know, deciding, hey, I need to move on from something. It's harvest time for me. Three and seven is 10. 10 is the number for instant manifestation, right? This video is dated for the, the 27th and 27, two and seven is nine. Nine is the number of transformation for transformation. Somebody has made a very powerful transformation because the things that you would have returned back to, you're not, it's not even that difficult of a decision not to turn back to anymore. You're just like, you know, I, I need to move on from this. I, I just, I, when I weigh the pros and cons of a situation, when I it, either my work or my personal life, certain situations, it just weigh too heavy on my emotions. I don't, I don't feel good about it. You know, like kids will tell you, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. But what did you eat? Well, I had ice cream. Well, how much ice cream did you have? Um, Three scoops versus the two that they usually get. That's why. Okay, process of elimination. I need to just only give you two scoops next time, not three, because that made you sick. You don't feel good, right? So somebody is returning back to their inner child and just explaining it in a way that's so simple, you know, that a three-year-old could, could, you know, could, could um, comprehend. Right. So anyway, here we have the strength card. Here we have the justice card. Here we have the two of cups. We have the four of pentacles, the temperance card, and also the knight of wands. Right. So there was some energies who definitely thought that your meekness was weak, that you were weak when in actuality you were smart enough to stand down and use your logical brain like a human being and not like an energy that's on fours, like a, like a, a, another life form that's on all fours living in a wilderness, right? So the source is saying to you, when you slow down and you know how to use your brain, like your like a logical standing up right on twos, a human being with thumbs, source is saying to you that you're going to get a lot more accomplished than reacting to people with that animalistic behavior, they launching all their people. They don't know how to control their emotions. That's why there's some energies who don't know how to control their emotions that are now dealing with the karma they created for themselves. They were quick to jump to conclusions and misjudge you. They were quick to attack you physically in some instances and, and emotionally in others. They were quick to attack your character, but they didn't realize you had already been through that in your own family. So that wasn't even new to you. You just know now I know how to outthink that, right? So again, here we have the temperance card. You know, definitely could have been, you know, someone who was fired up. But you have, somebody also has two guardian angels that's watching over you. They're saying to you, when you, you're learning how to look at things from a higher frequency, process things a little bit faster instead of just letting it sit in your water. You're learning how to process things a little faster. And what's most important to you is to remove things from your scale. So there's definitely some energies who, for some of you all, try to come up against you in a legal sense, who try to come up against you in a sense because they thought you were meek, they thought you were scared, they thought you were this and that, and judgment is in your favor twice. So sources say, again, you are a warrior for peace. So you come out, like I said, cancer, smelling like a rose because there's people who, you know how sometimes you hear one side of the story, then you hear another side of the story and people are looking for some kind of fight. They're grabbing their popcorn. They want to be messy and see, okay, well, let me see what this one said because it's entertaining for some people. They'd like to see, okay, let's see how this person's going to come back. You said, no, I'm a stand down. I'm a logical human being. I don't wish any harm on anybody. Now, if you push me up against a wall, you know, you back my back up against the wall and I, I will defend myself. But I don't need to defend myself. I'm divinely protected. That's what the tower card is for. I'm divinely protected by source. So it's a whole lot of people who are starting to learn your power. That's why I told you, you all are very powerful sign. You're ruled by the moon. You're able to see through everybody's emotions. Every living being's emotions, everything that's living that has emotions, humans, dogs, cats, animals, whatever, mammals, Every emotion, you're able to gauge those emotions. So source is saying, stay away from hot-headed people. Just stay away from hot-headed people because you're learning how to protect your water. Stay away from people who jump to conclusions about other people. And they do no research. They have had no personal experience with people. they just ready to jump to conclusions. Let their fire consume them. Once they burn that bridge, leave them right on the outside of your universe. 
Here we also have the Two of Cups. And so Source is saying soulmate energy coming across your path is really going to be what you need to help you to keep your water clean because somebody has had a lot of masculine energy, like a lot of attacks on you. And Source is saying, let people be committed to believing the worst about you if they want to. You just be consistent. That's what Source is trying to tell you. Get your rest. Your anxiety is going away very soon. Well, you'll see. Four of Pentacles. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have uh, going on here. Cancer. So this is nice. This is actually really, really nice because, again, in the past, you would have gone back through that same that same storm over and over and over again until you had to learn the hard way. You fall enough times, you stop, you learn the lesson. You say, okay, I, I learned the lesson. I'm not stepping down off of my throne. I'm not acting like them. I'm not acting like those hurt people who are, are running around hurting other people. I don't care what the job title is. I don't care what the association is. I don't care how much money they have. I'm not acting like a hurt person, right? You are a nurturer. That's like people were saying, oh, my own mother hurt me. How could a mother do that? You all are literally the mother of the Zodiac and the money sign. So, if you if you're the I'm talking to men and women cancers. If you're the mother of the zodiac, you should know. Okay, I don't want the other kids to be affected or the other people that's coming to me. You know, the the other when I say kids, I mean inner child. I don't want the other adults or other people's inner child to be hurt by me. So I gotta remove any threats or danger from them. So if there's one person in the group that is trying to contaminate the whole group, then they've just burned their bridge in adult form or in a or old enough form that they're that they notice that okay, you just did something to get yourself removed from my universe. I can't have you contaminating everybody else in my universe, right? That's real leadership skills. I have I have a mission that I'm doing. That's what Source is saying. I have a mission that I need to, that I'm accomplishing here on earth. You're intentionally trying to distract everybody else, you being uh, blow torching people, all of this up. This is counterproductive. Is is it's a whole lot of everything except using the fire in a positive way, using a sword in a positive way. Here we have the page of cups, the ace of cups, the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and then also the ace of swords. That's where this ace of swords, that's where somebody's having a breakthrough. You're having a double breakthrough. People are starting to wake up to the fact that, hey, I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm not going off on you. I'm not going to tell you how horrible of a person you are. You just cut yourself or burned yourself out of my universe for good. So you now you somebody else's assignment. I'm, I'm being obedient to source. I can get back to my purpose. So source is saying wheel of fortune here. So, so somebody, somebody is definitely feeling lucky. Somebody is for so this is attached to Jupiter. So Jupiter is um, Jupiter is the largest planet, but it's the planet of good luck, opportunity, uh, growth, opportunity, good luck, good fortune, horizon, hubris, you know, bliss. Somebody actually feels happier now that you have allowed people to eliminate themselves, to remove themselves from your universe by their actions, by their words or the negative idea of you. So when we talk about fire, we're talking about ideas. When we talk about sword, we're talking about thoughts and power. Somebody had a negative thought, they had negative ideas, and they proceeded to take some kind of action. So guess what? You got yourself removed out of the universe. Somebody could have used their brain and they could have used their idea to talk to somebody in a positive way, but they didn't do that. They could have used their sword and their fire for good, but they used it for evil and that got them kicked out of your universe. And so sources say, why are you sitting around overthinking something? Be conservative with your energy, with your time, right? Everything. When I tell you everything is perfectly aligned for you, everything is perfectly aligned. That's an understatement, actually double perfectly aligned. There's a lot of people are starting to, they, people really think that you're lucky, but you're actually, you're not lucky at all. It's just that you just didn't step down off of your throne. Somebody is really, really, you, people hear about how inner, everything is energy, but I think people are really just starting to awaken. That's why I love the fact that Pluto is retrograde because it's literally resetting the whole world. It's setting the whole earth where people are starting to see, okay, this is what clean, fresh energy looks like. It's like you, you feel like you just came off of a major detox or fast and your body is rejecting that negativity. That's what it feels like for a lot of people. So here we have the Ace of Cups. So Source is saying to you again, protect your heart, protect your creativity. You are on a lot of people's minds. And these are people that you wouldn't let back in your life if you saw a pig fly through the sky. Because what are they bringing? A bunch. You saw how low certain people could go. 
That's all it takes is to see how low a person could go to try to ruin you. It should only see you're learning now that if it if just one time, all I need to see it is one time because you've already gone through it in your own family. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So congratulations to you all. Let me give you the questions for the moon and um and uh, let me make sure we got everything here. Uh, do 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 do. Um, to make sure I got everything. Yeah. So let me let me give you all the questions for the uh for the moon and Pisces if you want to write these down because I want to make sure I don't want to forget. I want to make sure you have them in case I don't get a chance to write them out. So Pisces is a uh, Pisces is a very sensitive um, zodiac sign, very sensitive as well emotionally sensitive. All all uh, water signs are emotional. Water is our emotion, right? But Pisces bring waves of uh, emotions and feelings that you really can't articulate. And there's a lot of people who are going through a tower moment right now. That's they 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 jumped out there. They jumped out there in the water and they jumped out there in the, the middle of the ocean and they couldn't swim, right? And so the very people that they told all these horrible things about you, those people are looking at them like, we don't believe you because the way you talking about them like that. And so they brought some of those people to your social media page. They brought some of those people to see who you are. They, they thought they were predicting something as far as you're concerned. And none of, none of it was true. So they bit off more than they could chew. And now they have to deal with the consequences of it. That's why I always tell people, you don't even have to. Mm -mm -mm. Here are the questions for you. The first question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't have to take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? The answer is yes, you do. You're listening to, somebody's going to start listening to uh, chakra cleansing music on a regular basis, on a regular basis, right? And speaking of the, um, speaking of Pisces, it's a water sign like you and Scorpio are water signs. Here's some gemstones and crystals that you all, since we're getting, we're closer and closer to the full moon and I see somebody supercharging their gemstones and crystals. Um, this by this super full moon in Aries, which is a harvest moon slash corn moon. Orange carnelian. It actually increases passion, joy, creativity, motivation, and feminine energy. Moonstone. It assists looking inward. It calms and stabilizes emotions coral it enhances feminine fertility and passion it balances emotions fire opal it assesses subconscious it releases attachment it fires up kundalini and joy it cures dehydration orange calcite it lifts energy and spirit it clears emotional and reproductive issues amber uh, promotes emotional ease it protects from energetic invasion it nurtures creativity it reduces stress and also heals wounds right so your wounded heart you know those, those should be some things that like i said before somebody has been spiritually dehydrated overthinking something overthinking something and real tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency but you don't have to be tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency you're heavy on somebody's mind and they're trying to appeal to you through your emotions you already decided you're not going back to that storm with them again. Dance. That's right. Somebody dancing a new dance, right? It's like the rain is gone. I'm celebrating. I'm in I'm in uh, harmony with myself. Here we have 18. Somebody's probably dancing around the house now, right? Dancing around the house, putting on your favorite music, dancing around the house. But that's what I'm seeing for you all. Like I said before, people will continue to misjudge people forever. That's just the world, right? So welcome to earth. <laughs> You, you got you got a ticket to earth, right? So anyway, so source is saying a lot of things are going to be behind you. They're already behind you. Here we have goats. Here we have 13. Fearless I am in the path I choose for. I've never been led astray. Always finding my way, right? Yeah, there's some, definitely some energies that, like I said, are having a tower moment right now. A realization that I really messed up. I, I really misjudged, but they won't have an opportunity. Like I said, Maybe in the next move, new blue moon, next blue moon, whatever that is, right? I know the next super blue moon is in 2037. I think there's one before that. I think there's one in 2026. But bottom line is that you've already operated in forgiveness. You know, it, it depends on sometimes 
it's not that you're so rigid, right? But you're learning how you're sending a very strong message that I don't have, I'm not afraid of cutting you off. I don't care what smear campaigns you run because I already know how karma works. So you can run all the smear campaigns you want to. You can put up posters, billboards if you want to, because not only is somebody going to come back and tell me, but there's going to be somebody to defend me. That's where this right here, somebody's going to defend you, right? So somebody's not, they're going to defend me. Things are in my favor. I'm not worried about you. Not worry about what you think, what you tell people, none of those things. Not when you can come directly to me, right? That's what you, that's the energy you're on. So expect powerful change. Expect powerful change. I'm telling you, it's a lot of people who really wish that they had treated you differently. Whatever was going on in their brain at the time and whatever premonitions they got or what, whatever, who, who knows? All you, all I know is that you take action and stay as far away from them as possible. So somebody definitely played themselves. They thought they were playing checkers with you or play, playing chess with you, trying to manipulate your emotions. And, and just, you know, it's like, it, you know what, I, what I'm, the, the vision that I'm getting for you all, uh, Cancers, you know, um, have you ever seen somebody take a water hose and like, like flush out, you know, like when you're, when you're like finished cutting the grass or whatever, and somebody take a water hose and they clean off and you see how it all goes down this drain. That's what you're doing. You're like, you're saying I'm, I'm, I'm all got all the weeds and stuff up source exposed people. I'm, I'm flushing all of that down the drain away from me, away from me. Like somebody's going to have to really and like I said, the more they talk negative about you, the more they're going to hit rock bottom. And you don't even need to know how they're hitting rock bottom because it can come in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So I don't even have to talk about how worse it, because rock bottom means something for everybody, right? So anyway, here we have divine flow. Things are divinely flowing to you. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the divine flow at all costs. And that's what you're doing. Somebody is definitely operating in their purpose. And some people, like I said, walk, they manipulated themselves right on out of your universe, playing games. And and you know in your wisdom, uh, Cancer, that they played games with you because somebody was playing games with them. And so now it's, it's both of them out of your universe. It's happened in your own family, you know, where, you know, a parent could have manipulated a, a, a child and an adult, you know, an adult child or it was starting in childhood. And they still on that manipulation, trying to manipulate you. They both manipulated themselves out of your universe. It could have happened with, you know, an ex and their family. They manipulated themselves right out of your universe. It could have, it could just happen with people on your job. They manipulated themselves right out of your universe. So here we have number six, I am nurturing. But now you're no longer nurturing those types of energy. You're nurturing yourself. Here we have, your heart is your gift, Cancer. You are a natural born nurturer and you have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those that you love. Yep. So, not sure if I remember if I gave you the questions or not. So if this is redundant, please forgive me. Uh, if, I, if I already said this, please forgive me. Um, let me give you the questions. Let me, let me give you the questions for, for, uh, for this. Uh, I know there was another card. Oh, that's the card I was looking for right there. All right. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I had all the cards. Okay. So here are the questions for the moon in Pisces so that you don't feel like you, you just got this wave of emotion where you don't even know how to process it and you can't even articulate it, right? One, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question, fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't have to take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? Do you clean and replenish your energy daily? It's a lot of people. I'm telling you something, Cancer, and I don't want to extend this reading because this is midweek Wednesday, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who doubted your power to take action. There's a lot of people who said that your business was not going to do well, that you were not going to get another job, that they had the power to ruin you. There was a lot of people who said that... Um, that you were not going to move into the house that you moved into or that you were going to travel and get your passport stamped every month 
It's a lot of people that said a lot of things about you that they're having to eat humble pie right now. I was about to, I'm trying to think of the, the saying. They have to eat humble pie right now. And it's not because you wish that on them. It's the energy that they circulated back to themselves. They're trying to project themselves onto you. Freedom. There it is. Freedom. So affirmations for freedom. I am free to be me, period. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. Yep. There's somebody right now who is saying, I never thought that cancer could do it. Like I, 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 I have to come back. It's like a person who is, um, their apology is not as loud as their accusation. So they have to first say it to themselves, like, wow, I, I really messed up. Cancer didn't do anything to try to ruin me after that. So they couldn't even justify. It's like they run up against a brick wall. You didn't even do anything to try to repay them for the harm that they've done you. These are some people you work with, some people you dated, some people you were married to, some people from your past, some people, not all of them, but some of the people are now sitting back like, wow, I'm I'm shocked. I'm 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 shocked. I'm amazed. Um I'm I, I have to eat humble pie. Like I never thought X, Y, and Z. But again, you are you're so divinely protected in your vulnerability moving forward. There may be a little fear or doubt, but they are the last people you would go to. That's where's the card. That's why you say I wouldn't go back to them if I saw if I saw wings, if I saw a pig with flying with wings, because you know that it's not a safe space or a soft landing. As a nurturer, as the mother of the zodiac, it would be considered as like whether they're in male or woman form, doesn't matter. They would be a bad mother, a poor example of a mother in male or female form. It wouldn't even matter. You're saying I wouldn't I I I, I gave them my my emotions. I let them get that close to my emotions and they contaminated my emotions. They talked negatively to me, about me, you know, wore me out with overthinking, made me feel bad about myself. All of those things made me question my own sense, my own intentions. No, thank you. So that is what I have for you. So continue replenishing your water on a daily basis by listening to chakra cleansing music. Like I said, I gave you some gemstones and crystals. You're already feeling the effects of the full moon. Some of the things that you can do during the um, feeling the effects of the full moon is, uh, and, and, I, and I usually give these to you every, every time we're having a full moon, but just for people who are new and as a reminder, you can make moon water to drink. You can cleanse and charge your crystals in the moonlight. You can make protective amulets. You can cleanse and charge your tools under the moonlight, divination. You can harvest her herbs. You know, at this time, they're easier to dry, you know, that full moonlight. But that's what I have for you all. You know, I said, you're free. You're free. You don't even have anything to worry about as far as that's concerned. You're already making the adjustment. You're not going back to something this time. So that is what I have for you. And I'll see you on um, Freedom Friday, on Freedom Friday. Remember, we have a full moon on the 29th. And 29 is 2 and 9 is 11. That symbolizes getting off the fence and taking some, it, it's stepping into your own light so that you can see that you made the best decision for you not to go back to energy to talk negatively about you, burned you out, try to burn your reputation, try to burn, literally try to burn, try, they thought that they were going to be responsible. They want to make you pay for karma by their definition of karma. I mean, just crazy, really believing that they're your God. That's what I have for you, Cancers, and I will see you all on Friday. Bye.